ship battling in Skull and Bones can be a bit confusing. This video is here to simplify it for you. Welcome to Ship Battles 101. Before we get into the actual ship battles, we should look at a few key characters that we need to interact with to make our ship battle ready. The refinery is an important place to visit because it'll take those raw materials and turn them into useful items. The shipwright, the carpenter, and the blacksmith often want their materials ready to go, so the refiner, or refinery, is there to help you out. The blacksmith is the guy you want to go to for your guns, ammo, and armor. Without the blacksmith, you're basically a floating piece of wood out there waiting to get attacked. Now, when you're first starting out, a lot of these materials are not going to be in your inventory, so just, uh... Do the best you can. Now the carpenter is the guy with the tools. The tool man. Visit the carpenter to get all the tools you need to harvest materials. When you're out there at sea, you might need to cut down some trees, harvest other materials, or even loot sunken and abandoned ships. You're not going to get very far without a saw, pickaxe, or whatever else the carpenter can conjure up. Once you get familiar with the blacksmith, the carpenter, the refinery, and the shipwright, you'll be ready to make an awesome boat that will kick everybody's kulo. Kulos will be flying, people will be dying. Before I set out for sale, I usually repair my boat. Furniture is great because it gives your ship perks. If you need that extra boost of acceleration or stamina, somehow a magical piece of furniture makes your ship better. Use your telescope to check out distant ships and other things you find interesting. It's a good way to get information on a target before you approach it. Like this boat looked pretty weak so I went after it. Sometimes I attack the wrong boat and I pay dearly. And I lose all my cargo. Oh my god. That's why they call this boat the rammer. Boarding a damaged ship is usually better than destroying it completely because the loot is often better and you might even find rare items. But sometimes you just gotta destroy it and take what you can when you're being attacked by other ships. The lame thing about boarding boats is it's just a cutscene. You don't actually get to go on the boat and attack them with a sword or a gun. I guess you'll have to go play Assassin's Creed instead if you want to do that. I really wish they would have added that feature in here. I don't know why... It's like, this game only cares about boat battles. The pirate means nothing. See, I don't know what I did to make these guys mad. What did I do? Sometimes you come across these angry guys and they just start attacking you. And look at that, just one hit, two hits, boom, I'm gone. There goes my cargo. So after you get destroyed, you have two options. You can go back to sea, near where you were destroyed, for a small fee. Or you can go back to the dock, which is your safe option. Why would you want to go back to sea? Because that's where your cargo is. When you get destroyed, you drop a lot of your cargo. See that ship icon up there on the compass? That's where your cargo dropped. Look, I got destroyed again. I don't, I don't know what I did to make those guys mad. I didn't do anything. I was... Okay, maybe I attacked a few of their friends earlier. Okay, so this is my shipwreck after I got destroyed. So I can go back there and collect my cargo. Going back and collecting your cargo isn't always smooth sailing. There just might be other players waiting for you. They could be there stealing your cargo. And the a-holes that attacked you might be lingering around. It's just up to you to take the risk. If you had a bunch of cargo on your ship, you're going to want to go back and get it. This is probably a good time to tell you to store most of your valuables in your warehouse and your caches around different islands. I've made the mistake of carrying too much cargo on my ship and losing it. So if you're too far away from a main port like St. Anne, you can go to these little vendors on the smaller islands. Sometimes they have valuable things like blueprints and repair kits. At the minimum, when you're out at sea, you're going to want a few repair kits, a lot of cannonballs, and some cooked food. Otherwise, your fellow sailors might try to tie you up and eat you. 
I should probably start selling some of this stuff I've been looting. Well, what's the matter? I usually get destroyed before I can get back to port and sell it anyway. When you're attacking other ships, there's a few weak spots highlighted on them. Some ships have these explosive things on the side of their ships. Some ships also have explosive crates on the back that you can shoot at, and that'll do a lot of damage. I keep missing. I don't know why I keep missing the... I'm trying to board my crew. Yeah, you know what? Just blow up. Blow up. Take that. Baby. So at least you can loot from a fairly decent distance. You don't have to go like right over the wreckage. Kinda hard to turn this thing around sometimes, especially when the wind's blowing against you. The wind blows against us, Another fun thing you can do is trade with these islands, or you can plunder them. Be careful when you decide to plunder an island because you're gonna get attacked from multiple angles. They're gonna attack you from land and sea. If you look down on the bottom right, those are the cannons reloading. And depending on where you're aiming, the game will automatically choose which cannon to fire. So this was easier just to stay in one spot and shoot from left and right. But you can also rotate your ship and use that front cannon as well if needed. I'm not sure what happens when you complete a plunder because I got out of here before I could see. What is this? Calls for help. Looks like if you're in trouble, you can call other players for help as well. So if you find yourself in battle, especially if you're just starting off and you don't have a strong ship, one thing I found useful is to rotate the ship. That way you can fire from all three sides and not have to wait for that six second reload. This is especially useful when you're just starting out and your ship is weak and your cannons are even weaker. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was useful. If you thought something was boring or useless, please let me know. If the whole video was useless and boring, that's fine. It's not fine by me, but you know. If you don't like it, just let me know.